Hi Aquarius, welcome. So Aquarius, this is going to be your reading. Uh, it's a timeless reading, so I just trust that when this finds you, that's when it's for you. I'm going to start with the general spiritual messages first, and then I'm going to go into the you versus them love reading portion of this. So Aquarius, let's go ahead and get started. The first card out is the card of Chiron, which is talking about healing, amends, forgiveness. Um, it's a very soft, very sensitive energy. Um, it also talks about releasing any type of shame or guilt or just this overall sense of being kinder to yourself. You know what I mean? Not being so hard on self and others. Um, and it's also about your personal development and your own growth and your own expansion. So I actually think this is a really beautiful energy to start the reading with, but Let's go get a little further into it and see, Aquarius, what else we have coming through for you. You have the card of awareness. And what else? And the card of playfulness. So some of you, there's something here that maybe you weren't even aware was bothering you. Or maybe you weren't even aware that there was this, some, some unhealed part of you. But it seems to be surfacing Aquarius during this time frame and it's building awareness right that helps us to know what we need to work on and so there is some uh, of that coming through but you also have this card of playfulness which is kind of like being lighthearted about things not taking things so seriously not taking things to heart so easily which may be a little bit difficult because I feel like even though you're an air sign you know, and us Aquarius, as I'm an Aquarius too, kind of get a bad reputation for being detached as if we don't have feelings, but we actually are very rooted, uh, uh, fixed zodiac sign and can feel quite deeply. And sometimes we take ourselves a little too seriously, right? So it's also about like lightening up and being your own best friend and being playful about your life, you know? And as odd as it sounds, the more playful we could be, the more we just naturally heal, you know? The more we take our attention off of that of which is bothering us or that is which seems so serious. Um, and we, we stick it on the more lighter parts of our lives, the faster we bring about a positive change in circumstance. So let's see what else you have coming through. You'll have the card, you have many cards, okay. Six of Swords, King of Cups, and the Strength card. So Aquarius, yes, there is some sort of resolution coming through your commitment sector, okay? And this is <clears throat> kind of looking your fears in the face, right? Some of you are just downright afraid of commitment, okay? Um, or maybe you're connecting with someone who has had that active in their energy, but there's some sort of resolution coming through um, in regards to that, okay? For others of you, it may not necessarily be a fear of commitment, although I feel heavily that if you're drawn to watch this, that resonated, but it could also be like committing to your own resolutions. You know what I mean? Like committing to yourself to keep your promises to yourself, not let your self get easily persuaded into doing things that you know are not in alignment with you. You know what I mean? So, and it, it takes strength to do that sometimes. So let's go a little bit further here, Aquarius, and see what else we have coming through. We're gonna look at the head space, the heart space, and the big spiritual picture. Look, there you are at the bottom of the deck. I really thought this bracelet would be a good idea, but it keeps hitting the table. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna take it off, but isn't it pretty? This is pure jade. It was actually a gift from my grandmother who used to watch me, but she doesn't anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna take this off and put it over here. Okay. All right, look, there you are on the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aquarius coming down. Can I speak? <laughs> coming in strong jeez louise all right let's see what else we have what else does aquarius need to know ten of swords 
Man, I can't get away from your card, the star. Yes, this is all about ooh, doing what you do best, Aquarius. Being at your best. Healing some of those old torturous wounds that you've been carrying around. Yes, clarity, freedom, success. This is beautiful. So Aquarius, if you have been feeling in this space of exhaustion or depletion, or just like things were not working out for you. I feel you healing from that. I feel like you're moving away uh, from that energy, right? Some of you, it's from something painful, from that pain is what I heard, okay? Whether it be physical or emotional. And I feel like you're going into this new space of clarity, okay? Of knowing what you want, of things becoming clearer and more known to you. So if there has been like, this elusive energy around you or uncertainty, okay? I feel like you gaining um, that certainty as we go through September and into October. And then you have the Six of Wands, which is all about success, okay? Um, it's all about standing tall, knowing your worth, you know, having a successful outcome. So if you've been grappling with something, right? If you've been exhausting yourself over overthinking something, I feel like this is the time frame or spirit wants you to kind of let that energy go, and, you know, and because the outcome is successful, right? And so the quicker you can release uh, this painful energy or these thoughts that do not serve you, the quicker you can get to the outcome that you intended, the outcome that is intended for you. Okay, so this is beautiful energy here. So let's see, Aquarius, what else do they need to know? You have the Page of Swords, what's coming through the heart space? The Emperor. The Sun and the Hangman. So, Aquarius, on an emotional level, there is like this little inner skeptic that shows up every once in a while, you know what I mean? This little negative Nancy voice that you have that totally derails you every single time you give it attention, right? Um, I feel like you're being asked to put yourself into a place of empowerment and um, there's a lot to focus on that's very positive that's coming through and one of the highlights that they also want you to focus on is working on yourself working on your craft, working on your career, the things that bring you happiness. And I feel like Aquarians are usually very invested in whatever the creative pursuit is, whatever makes your brain tick, right? And I feel like that's kind of where they want you to invest most of your time and energy and not make it about the outcome, not make it about you know, expectation and, and instead to just place yourself in the space of being present in the now moment and paying attention to the things that bring you joy and just knowing that things are going to work out, right? So I feel like the hangman here is kind of getting a different perspective, is you getting a different perspective on whatever situation that you've been needing to heal from. And I feel you being successful, right? Like, I feel like there's a lot of things to be happy about. It could be uh, also things coming in um, in the way of success, meaning money, career, opportunities, opportunities to connect, right? Um, just don't become your own worst critic. Some of you are just being so freaking hypercritical, maybe of yourself, maybe of others. Often we are critical of others when we're too hard on ourselves because our inner you know, our outer life is only a reflection of our inner dialogue. So be easy about this, right? Um, it could also be that some of you are dealing with um, an energy here or a person here that maybe, I heard disbelief, <laughs> is in disbelief for whatever reason. Maybe they don't Maybe they don't believe in you the way you believe in you. Who gives a shit, you know? <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> it doesn't matter if others believe in you if you believe in you. You know what I mean? But I, if it's not the inner skeptic, you might actually have someone kind of skeptical about what you're up to or what you have going on here. Um, and oftentimes, too, when we shine, um, those that are not in the light 
often look to those in the light through the lens of jealousy, right? So sometimes this card can be jealousy, right? So let's see what else we have going through, going on. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. Oh my goodness, that yawn came out of nowhere. Oh, that's a whole book. I don't have time for that. No, 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 no. Sorry. Just get two cards. <laughs> Eight of Wands. One more. Or two. Seven of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So... Aquarius, also be careful. There's like some sort of confusing communication coming through here, okay? Or maybe you're not being clear with the way that you're communicating, okay? First of all, I feel like uh, some stress here. So when you're really stressed out, that's not the time to talk about, you know, that's just not the time to talk, period. People often want to vent when they're stressed out, but venting actually perpetuates and blows up which you don't want bigger because that's how a law of attraction works. You know what I mean? But so although it feels good in the moment, right, to get something off of our chest, oftentimes it creates like a ripple effect. And then that energy tends to follow us a little bit longer than it would if we were able to hash it out within ourselves. That's why your inner talk, your inner dialogue is so important. Being able to solve things internally is really a gift, right? Um, because it, if you can solve it within, it does not become a problem outside of you. But that's not always possible. And there is a possibility that you may just one event. Now, <laughs> is something terrible going to happen if you vent? No. But it may grow the resistance. So it's just something to be aware of. Because I feel like if you get stressed out, some of you are wanting to talk about this. If you're going to talk about it, talk about it with someone who's not going to judge you. Or, you know perpetuate it any further right like a trusted source okay on the flip side of that Aquarius if you're the one that's in a good space somebody might be coming to you wanting to vent to you and it's fine to listen be a good ear but don't absorb that person's energy don't take on their problems don't let you know because energy is contagious y'all sometimes you be trying to be a good friend and listen to someone while they vent and then all of a sudden you're also in a bad mood. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they're talking to you about feeling hopeless and all of a sudden now you're feeling hopeless. You know what I'm saying? So protect your energy and, and just be aware of that because there, there's attachments showing up, okay, as well. Um, yeah, so some, somebody could be coming to you with their frustrations or you may be going to someone else. It could be vice versa. It could be both, you know, whatever. But that's just something to be aware of. Um, I feel like that's why they, okay, that's why they want to you to focus more on the things you can control, um, the things that make you happy, what's right in front of you, your inner world, your inner dialogue because there's like this they keep saying frivolous beings like frivolous energy outside of you that could suck you in and stay committed to yourself that was the original message okay keep your grounding about you aquarius don't let other people's confusions or misunderstandings or frivolous energy bleed into yours you know be a powerful thinker and then let me get what's the seven of cups so you do have also by the way a choice to make here what's this the communication card again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so there also might be communications about a choice here that needs to be made in regards to your stability, to the foundation of what makes you feel safe and secure, 
could be related to career or money or like whatever provides you a sense of security. I'm sorry, I don't mean to elaborate on this message, but like I'm stuck on this. So it's like, there's something here that you're insecure about. And through your insecurity, you might have a moment of insecurity, right? Where you vent or you, you communicate or something is communicated and it initially creates confusion, but then it actually turns into a positive because sometimes we gotta misunderstand each other to understand each other, you know, or sometimes we have to be misunderstood to understand ourselves. And I feel like the positive that comes out of it is it makes you more strongly convicted in who you are and what you stand for and what you want. And then that insecurity becomes security. <laughs> that's what you're healing. Oh, that's what it is. You're healing some sort of insecurity. But it's like funny the way that you're, that, it, that it's occurring because it's, it's, it's not an obvious like healing shamanic journey. It's almost like you kind of fumble and then through that fumbling, you find yourself, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, and life is so funny like that. It's like, and I hope this is making sense. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, so I, I want to go further into the love and relationships, absolutely, because I do see um, relationships being highlighted here. So let me just take that message for what it is and get a guidance card, and then we're going to pop into the you versus them portion of this. So what is the guidance then? says take a moment now is not the time to rush into a decision before making an important decision take a moment to pause quiet your mind and ask your soul for guidance so they're wanting you to take your time with whatever you have going on there is definitely a healing of some sort of insecurity coming through there's also like a success wanting to come through as well as and I feel like this is more geared towards like whatever makes you feel successful um, in your career life or your creativity. But there's also healing coming in emotionally here and some sort of clear up, which seems like a fumble, but then it gets cleared up. So, <laughs> wow, never a dull moment for Aquarius, right? Okay, so now we're gonna go into the you versus them love portion of the reading and go a little bit further. So I'll see you in just a second. All right, so let's go into the you versus them portion of the reading. I'm gonna go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind it's a general reading. Feel free to swap the messages um, if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's get started. So Aquarius, what an interesting spiritual reading that was. I'm very interested to see how it's going to play into the love reading. So uh, you have a card here of Leo. Some of you could be connecting with the Leo or have Leo in your birth chart or the person you're connecting with might, or it's just the um, energy that is connecting you and this person. So this is talking about expressing yourself, which is funny because there was um, some message about communication and the spiritual reading and all of a sudden I'm like having trouble expressing myself right now like what is up with that I don't know if maybe Aquarius you've been in this space where like you feel like you can't express yourself or that when you go to express yourself it's not it's not received or not understood or there's like miscommunication here and I felt that in the spiritual reading as well I can't get away from it but anyways this is also talking about love and being playful, which is really interesting because I also got that message in the spiritual reading to be a little bit more playful. Be self-confident uh, in yourself, right? Let go of the ego a little bit. Let go of the seriousness. 
just trust that things are going to be all right, okay? Um, and sometimes that's easier said than done. I, I do wanna know, I also have a Scorpio on the bottom of the deck, that could be in your chart as well. And I feel like this is the shadow, um, energetically speaking, like this very serious energy, but also this very playful energy. So weird, right? Um, <laughs> Let's go further and see what else you have coming through though for Aquarius. Crowning energy is the King of Swords. And for Aquarius' person. You have the Ten of Swords. Wow, that's way too many. No, 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 no. But I'm gonna take note of it. This person may be um, coming out of some sort of ending here and it may have to deal with their comfort, okay? Um, coming out of their comfort zone. But let me get just one card. And they have the magician. So I feel like this person's in the space of manifesting something new for themselves. And they, and they kind of had to come out of their comfort zone, right? In order for them to be able to achieve this. So let's look at what led up to the now, um, how you are perceiving each other how you genuinely feel underneath it all and the big spiritual picture. So Aquarius, recent past, chariot. The page of wands and the three of cups. So Aquarius, I feel like you're, you've moved forward from some sort of confusion or insecurity, which is also what I felt in the spiritual reading. And now it's like you're ready for something new. You're ready to embark on something new, particularly when it comes to relationships, connections, friendships, etc. right? There is resolution showing up. There's reconciliation showing up. There is a movement forward here. And it's like your cup is run, runneth over right now, okay? So you may have been in this space where that wasn't the case, uh, maybe where you had decisions to make here, but I feel like coming into this energy, you kind of got your stuff together now, all right? So let me see what is in this person's energy, recent past, don't mind my dog. Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Hermit. So Aquarius, for this person, um, they definitely had to do a lot of self-reflection, right? Sometimes this is like my nightmaring card. You know, they might've actually had disturbances in their sleep or nightmares, but uh, it also talks about just overthinking, overstressing, you know, and needing to kind of go within, maybe even needing to introvert, to figure themselves out. Um, in the meantime, I feel like this person is trying to give their time and energy to things that make them happy, their friendships, their social life, their soul circle, right? Um, but at the end of the day, I just get a sense of like worry and frustration kind of clouding this person's brain, you know, so there's things that they're still figuring out within themselves, still some soul searching going on within this person, even though I feel like during the day they present themselves in a much more positive light or they feel more positive. And then as it gets to nighttime, that's kind of when the worry sets in, which is not uncommon, right? Because like when your brain is feeling fatigued, it's easy to have a messy mind, <laughs> right? Uh, versus like when it's during the day and your mind is quite alert or busy, it's, it's easy to distract yourself from the things that worry you. So that's kind of what I get here for this person. So let's go into how you perceive this person in the now energy, nine of wands, as Aquarius see them. Queen of swords, yikes, and it came out in the reverse. That won't do many. I actually want to keep it like that. Kind of 
and of cups four of swords and the page of pentacles so the queen of swords in the reverse aquarius this is your energy here i feel is like there is detachment and then there is an Aquarius detaching. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to explain this as an Aquarian myself. They, I keep seeing the, it's, the movie is called The Craft where she's saying, you don't even exist to me. You know, like, do you guys know that movie, The Craft, by the way? Oh my God, I loved it. It was such a good movie. But anyways, there's a line in it where she says, you don't even exist to me. That's an Aquarian type of detachment. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that to make light of it because it's a superpower of Aquarians to be able to detach like that. But it is also sometimes painful for the people you interact with because not all zodiac signs can just cut it off like that, but you can. And that doesn't mean that you enjoy doing it, but you have the ability to completely remove yourself and your emotions where it's almost like that didn't even exist, you know? Maybe it existed at some point, but you've completely cut ties with that. And I'm not just talking about with people. I mean, like, every, anything. When you move on from a job, when you move locations, it, it's like Aquarians are very future-minded, so you don't look back very often. Okay, so it's kind of like that type of energy. Some of you literally did that, or it's just like, all right, that chapter's done, and now I'm fully focused on this new chapter. And, and it works for you because it kept you in alignment, but it may have whoever you've done this to, Aquarius, feeling like, whoa, well, hello, did I ever exist, you know? And mm, it's complicated, right? It's interesting to me because I feel like what shows up in your perception is actually pretty positive. So I don't feel like you're in the space of dwelling on anything right now but your own happiness but your own uh potential your own healing and you've kind of cut yourself off from maybe a person or a situation to be able to get into that space here So let's see this person's energy. And I wanna say like, okay, if this, it doesn't have to be that it's this person you cut off. It could have been other, I, I picked up a lot of frivolous energies in the spiritual reading. It could be that that's what you cut off. And then you're very focused on a happy relationship with this person. But if it was this person that you cut off, I feel I don't feel any ill wishes. I, I feel like you you still wish them well, but they no longer a part of your now reality. You know what I mean? So take it or leave it. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how does this person see Aquarius? Ten of Cups, the Sun, the Pen seven of pentacles beautiful so and the ace of pentacles yeah i feel like this person also wants to focus on their well emotional mental well-being how they feel what 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 makes them feel in productive you know um i feel like this person also wishes you well okay if you're in an active connection with this person and it's not the one you cut off I feel like they're, they see you as the Ten of Cups, you see them as the Ten of Cups. You know, some of you, it's like you're connecting with someone where you have the same vision, the same goals. You, They see you as a source of happiness um, in their life, and, and I feel a lot of gratitude around that. And they, and they see potential to build with you, Aquarius. Absolutely. So let's go into the emotional space then and see. What is going on in the emotions? The Tower, the Knight of Cups. 
I've had this song stuck in my head all day and I know that I got it in another reading. Oh my goodness. But I cannot remember. Um, there it is again. Sorry, distractions. <laughs> um, I can't remember which zodiac sign it was, but it's J Lo. It's an old song with LL Cool J, and she and she says, "It's such a shame that I'm leaving." No, baby. All I have. No, she says, "All my pride is all I have." All my pride is all I have. You'll be needing me, but too bad. Go check that song out. Does anybody remember what zodiac sign I got that for? It was in the last round of readings. Um, yeah, take it or leave it. Anyways, <laughs> what the heck? There is something, there's a disturbance here in the emotional space. Some of you, I feel like this is all outside of you. So I'm actually, I don't usually do this, but I'm gonna pull uh, different cards here. I'm gonna tell you what this is. For a large majority of you, this is somebody, this is something unexpected, someone unexpected. Could be someone from the past, could be an old flame, an old friend, and, and they're showing up abruptly, okay? And it's, it, it kind of brings out this, cold side of you Aquarius but it also stresses you out it also puts you in your head and I feel like you've tried to heal from this already and maybe you have some of you have healed from this and this person is showing up thinking they're going to meet the Aquarius they know and you're a completely different person now <laughs> you know what I mean like you've completely detached from that life you've transformed and it may be shocking to them how different you are. Some of you aren't even going to respond. You're just going to completely stay detached. Okay, so I have to state the obvious. That that's exactly what I'm feeling here. Especially if you're a feminine Aquarius. Because I feel this is a masculine return energy. Okay. Um, so I'm actually going to put these back. If someone is returning... Okay, because it's a general, could be masculine, could be feminine, I don't care. Um, it's because they feel rejected or defeated or, you know, I don't like their energy. It's quite... Like they got something to prove or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, some of you are best to leave that in the past. So let's see what Aquarius is feeling in the now towards this connection. The Hermit. The Ace of Cups. One more. Wow, the Six of Wands. See, I knew that was an outside entity energy. Yeah, so, oh my goodness. I'm just going to say, if you were drawn to watch this reading and it's resonating, then some you, you have an outside person that wants to make an entrance. And you are best to fo continue to focus on you and what you got going on, okay? <clears throat> So, anyways, and maybe that's what that J-Lo song is about. Okay, so, as it pertains to how you're feeling currently uh, with what you have going on, I feel a lot of love. I feel a lot of success. I feel like you overcome a lot. I feel like you're moving towards a brighter horizon. You've kind of done your soul searching. Some of you have, you know, parted ways or cut ties with, like, things that no longer serve you or people or a person, and now... You're in the space of loving your new space, loving your new life, loving your new lover if you have a new lover or whoever this person is reconnecting in a different way, even if it's with an old lover. But it's like a sense of admiration, a sense of respect, a sense of respecting oneself. 
staying committed to yourself, right? Um, I feel a lot of love here. So I do feel like whoever you're connecting with, that there is genuine love here um, and an opportunity to really make something of this. So let's see. Aquarius, where this person's at emotionally. Yes. Yes. Queen. I saw the Two of Cups come out. <laughs> Along with the Two of Swords, really. Hmm. Okay. So this person is in this harder space of kind of needing to release their own insecurities, their own uncertainties, because I feel like this person knows you're a soulmate. They feel very connected to you, but there's judgment here and the judgments need to be released. And I also heard bygones, releasing bygones, bygones will be bygones. I don't know, something like that. Because what this person wholeheartedly wants is a sense of community, a sense of stability, a good foundation to grow with. Like this person is really interested in someone they can grow with, right? And I feel like you fit that mold, Aquarius, for this person. Um, and the only thing that really stands in their way is this, is this insecurity in themselves that they have yet to truly master or truly let go of, right? And we all have insecurities that pop up. I don't care how old you are or how long you've been living. We all, at, at every age, have something that we're, we're working on, right? But I feel overall, you know, this person definitely feels a strong connection. So let's look at the most likely outcome for now. King of Pentacles. Can I tell you, there's such a toxic sign. It was, can I talk? There's such a toxic lyric in that song. She says, I don't know why I was thinking about this earlier, but I'm like, who writes these songs? She says, all my pride is all I have. And then LL Cool J says, pride is what you had, baby girl, I'm what you have. Like essentially like, yeah, throw your pride out the window. You got me now, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I think they meant that line to be romantic, you know, it was from the early 2000s. But I was like, that doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> it says, pride is what you had, baby girl, I'm what you have. So, like, why can't I have you and my pride, LL Cool J? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> some random ADD thought for you guys. Do you agree with me on that? Like, that, that seems a little toxic, but whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Maybe you were dealing with someone a little bit toxic where they wanted to, they wanted you to choose them over your own boundaries, over your own pride. And if that is who you cut out of your life, whether it's an ex, a friend, a family member, whatever, good for you. Good for you. Okay, I'm not a big proponent of cutting people out, but unless they under unless they can respect you, good to place distance. You know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, and maybe the real healing that you did was to choose you, to choose you. You got to choose you at the end of the day because you're the only one rooting for you. Nobody cares more than you care about your life circumstances. So nobody can root for you the way you can root for you. You know what I mean? So Aquarius, King of Pentacles, the Empress, the Two of Wands, and Bam, we're landing on your card, and I love that. So it's like, this is you feeling pretty confident and assured that you're headed in the right direction. This is confidence. This is you showing up, owning it, knowing oneself, feeling confident that you've made the right choice as well. Because nothing is more insecure than feeling like or fearing that you, you, you did not make a right choice but there is no wrong choices in this life. There is only growth, 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 expansion, and joy. So, but, but once you 
get into a space of no longer wondering did i did i not make the right choice did i make the right choice when you're in when you're standing in your confidence of yes i i was right to decide that for myself i feel confident in that everything good flows from that space from that confident space aquarius and then it's all about your future and looking to your future and making your dreams come true and shining bright like a diamond. Which I just posted a picture with that caption, which is funny. But it's like, this is you choosing you and your happiness. And, and things are developing and coming to fruition through that energetic space. And it's beautiful. So let's see what this person has. Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Seven of Cups. And the Strength card. So this person, it's so funny because I'm telling you, like, you know, you never feel as good as when you're lined up. Meaning what you think about and how you feel and what you want is all in alignment, you know. And I feel like you're in a space of alignment, you know, or being in alignment a lot of the time. This person wavers a little bit. They still have some frustrations here. They still have some insecurities. They still question themselves. They doubt themselves. Am I making the right choice? You know, did I make the right choice in the past? This is what they're needing to heal within themselves is to be more assured and confident in their decision making. <clears throat> and, and they are learning that. They are growing more confident through this process, right? But sometimes things get heavy, you know, and I feel like there's been something weighing on this person and it has to deal with like them being a little confused as to what their future holds as if they don't have a say so in it, you know, like the universe doesn't have you out here all by yourself, just, you know, walking around in the dark although sometimes it feels that way when we're disconnected like the universe is listening and responding to your thoughts so where have your thoughts been because that's what's coming next <laughs> you know it's not hard to predict the future once you understand your own thought processes and that you manifest your future through your now thoughts so this this person is needing to also get in the space of being lined up with their desire and they're not quite there yet I feel like you are a little bit ahead of the curve, okay, than this person. But they certainly know how they feel, and that's a good step. And they certainly know that they want to feel good, and that's a good step. And they see growth and opportunity and emotional fulfillment here. So now it's just about becoming more certain in their vision. And now some of them, the uncertainty is they don't know if they will be a good partner for you. Ooh. Or if they can uphold their end of the bargain. Like, it's sometimes Aquarius, you may come off so confident. It, it creates a sense of insecurity in this person. Like, mm, can I keep up with that? You know what I mean? But it's like their insecurity is for them to handle, not, not for you to handle, right? Um, but it's like they need to become more confident that they are also... A master creator and manifester of their future and their destiny as well so wow let's see <laughs> what the guidance is here Aquarius. I don't even know what to title this reading it's like I feel like there's so many different messages okay this says hello from heaven and soul power your card says remember your a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. You have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command. So this is talking about being in your power, feeling empowered. And I feel that coming through the reading. There's this hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you. So this person may have relatives, past loved ones, guides, spirits, all trying to make themselves known to them. They may also be getting signs and synchronicities from their spirit team that's helping guide them all along the way. So they are not without their own guidance. They will get to their destination, Aquarius. So 
Wow. Beautiful reading. Beautiful, interesting reading. I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs you could be connecting with or having your own birth chart. I have Leo here, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra. That could be another Aquarius involved. Taurus, Virgo again, Cancer, and Aries. Those are the primary signs I'm seeing, but keep in mind it is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. My Facebook just hit 10,000 subscribers not too long ago, so I'm very excited about that. You can um, catch me live over there as well. All of it linked in the description box below, as well as in the About section of my YouTube where you can find a donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you guys the very, very best. And until next time, hey friends.